Good morning, guys. How are you? How's it going? It was a long night last night. We barely got back. Uh, it was probably midnight, one o'clock. Still didn't get into bed till almost two o'clock. I am stinking tired. Like when I say I'm tired, I'm still wore out. It's back up this morning at six o'clock with only a few hours of sleep and been going. So I've not really been able to pick my phone up and start recording or anything like that, but here I am. As promised, as usual, I am here in good old Sadieville. I don't know if anybody knows about Sadieville. It's an old historic town. It actually was a, it's like a medium stop-off point for a railroad station. Um, I don't know the complete history on it, but there's a lot of history into this little town. And I'm going to get out here and do some pictures for you and so on and so forth. But I'm just traveling through here. And I just so happened to see it. And I haven't been up here in quite a while. So I thought that I would just stop by and collect some footage for you guys. So, good morning. How are you? I hope everything is going okay for you guys. And let's get this started. So... Cora is heading to the hospital and she got she got bit by a little uh, by a cat on her toe and she's diabetic so it started getting an infection it's been a couple weeks and it's progressed and then, you know she's tried to keep it clean but it's just gotten worse so she's gonna go get it taken care of and looked at and see what's going on with this so in the meantime I had to drop Hannah off at uh, her mom's in Georgetown and that's a local town close to where I live so that she can take photos of where she plays ball. So I thought that Sadieville is only just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Georgetown. I thought, well, I'm going to swing up here and maybe get some footage. And There's a couple railroad cars and things up here. So let's see what we got here. Get you some pictures and some photos of some historic sites. Sound good? All right, let's do it. There you go, guys. 1880. When this was established. A little something of the history here in this town. Little history man things that people don't understand people don't see on a daily basis nobody ever takes the time to stop and look all right here you go it's an old classic building right here that's funny people are just staring at me as they go by <laughs> it's all good though all right guys welcome from somebody who uh said the city hall right here Look how small this building is, guys. Look at this. This is how small this town is. Like, this is how big it is. That's it. This is Sadieville. And imagine this being a one-stop shop on the way into going from Cincinnati, Norfolk. And it's the, the Cincinnati Southern Railroad Depot is what this became. And <clears throat> these older buildings like this, like we I used to restore these buildings with my uncle years ago. And you just don't see that architecture anymore. And the architecture is like gone. It's sad, but you know, it's kind of a piece of history. Love these old buildings, but at least it's being preserved and restored. And there's the old railroad bridge right there. Of course, it's modernized. They can't leave it the old way. See if I can see if I can't get you a shot of the building itself from a distance over here. Let you know when this was established. 1911 guys that crazy so they still utilize it but made it into an old one but there's the other building this is the newer modern advised version this used to be the town hall it looks like 1905 the top of that there we go man 
Now here's another historic building. And it's actually for sale. Imagine these old classic buildings, man, with people. They've kind of modernized it. Blue, you know, this Bluegrass Trust. We have a thing that's called a Bluegrass Trust. It's kind of the historic district that keeps the history preserved in the state of Kentucky. This is the old mill, is what it's called, looks like. And what I'll do is I'll find another piece of history on it. Check out the old uh, shutters on the windows. Now that's a piece of history right there, man. And they kind of take these old buildings and restore them. And the old classic Coca-Cola. That's when you know it's how old it is. Look at that. Wow. Still there. Let's let you know a little piece of history about Sadieville. Now, on the city hall, back to city hall, if you notice the door, this would actually, years ago, would actually pull to and would latch from the inside and would lock itself into place. And that was your security. So if you can see, they've slow, slightly monitored and brought it up to modern terms. But if you look on the inside of this, this is going to make you laugh. Light comes on when you walk in. Your sign lockers. This is your library, your kiosk. Okay guys, so one cool thing that I found about, that I found out about the school here in Sadieville is the Rosenwald School. Now a lot of people don't know about the Rosenwald School, which there's a documentary on it and you should go check the documentary out. So Sadieville was one of 5,000 schools that Rosenwald actually started for the african-american community and he was an activist civil rights activist for african-americans and he devoted his life to starting schools and giving the same education to african-americans as you would anybody else so the schools themselves were started as small community schools and churches and things like that but everybody kind of pitched in and built the school and it's in kind of the documentary but it's more of the the southern norfolk uh area and i'm actually in the school or looking around the school now and i've gotten a piece of the history and i guarantee you that a lot of people that are around here in this area probably doesn't do enough studies about the history that's in their own town and it's kind of sad because they should really do the history and find out uh what they have right in front of them i mean this is a small small school gorgeous school but just imagine back in its historical day how many african americans in this area came to this town because or come just to come to this school just to get an education because they didn't have the rights like anybody else would have like we would so it's kind of sad to know that that you know this gentleman spent his lifetime starting schools for just African Americans to be able to go to school and get the same education that we had, you know, the, you know, and it's kind of, it, <laughs> it's kind of a hard subject to really talk about. But I think everybody, no matter who, what, where, or when, deserves to have the same educational rights as we have. So here is how small this school is. Look at this. It's a very small school, but imagine the intelligence that was taught in this school and giving people the right and giving african americans the same rights that we would have and that's why this is preserved today very small piece of history right here very significant piece of history in a small town of 263 from the last census 263 people live in this town, but it still hosts one of 5,000 schools. 
That is awesome. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. That awesome, guys. Look at this. Look at the old fireplace. <laughs> Imagine this, man. Heating up, starting school. And by what I hear from my grandfather when they were young and stories that he would tell is that you always had the one of the of the seniors or the, the higher classmates that would sit in the back of the class at times and would stoke the fire and keep the fires going. I wonder what those tags are. It looks like they're... Anyways. But yeah, imagine this, man. Love to be able to go inside and maybe get some pictures of this in the inside of this, man. It'd be awesome. Man. Awesome piece of history right here. Just imagine how excited students were that generally didn't have the right to get an education and was able to come to school and be able to get an education and improve their lifestyle like we would normally like we we, we do or like we take advantage of on a daily basis now man it's pretty awesome I'm really glad I stopped here now this Sorry guys, the lighting's kind of horrible, but Josie Burgess. Now this is the African American church that was established here in Sadieville as well. I mean look at this man. This is just a piece of history just sitting here. It's all the National Historic Registry is taken care of, but look man, nobody knows about this stuff. Nobody takes the time to find this stuff out. If I'd have never seen this and stopped, I'd have never known it myself. But just doing recent just recent history on this and just studying about it, man, it's just phenomenal. I wish I was able to go inside. That would be great. And look, no, no windows, man. I mean, you just, it's not known. Look, this, this is the degradation of these, these buildings, man. This should be better maintained because this is a piece of our history. Look at the old rock foundations. Probably hand laid, hand built. I can get a picture down the side of this thing. Look at there. Electric cords, trash, junk. Can't really see. It just needs to be rebuilt, man. Looks like it's being painted, but it's not being maintained. Looks like they're starting to renovate the inside come on guys this is our history man this is sad look at this it looks like they've started to restore it but come on man this is our history. It's thing, man. Like they built a new deck and so on and so forth, and you know they're starting to maybe add on to the place, and people can come and visit.
right next to the church. That's how it was established. A lot of times churches were established, or a lot of schools were established next to churches and religion based on God. You know, look at look at nowadays. You know, this country was founded on God and education was sought after and sought. Look, I can't hardly see because of the paint, but mm. history right there. Well, wow. this right here lets you know if you just take a drive, get off that beaten path, and just go. Man, it tells you right there the significance that you can find in these historical areas that you can find just out in the middle of nowhere about things that you would never think about or, or even try to do the history on. And there's a foundation here in Kentucky that is doing exactly what I'm doing right now. And it's getting the pieces of history and restoring it. Okay guys, so when you're driving up to Sadieville, you can see it right here, the church. And then right here is the sign, and you're right where you need to be, and there's the school up on top of the hill. And that's where I was. So, it's a lot of historical old classic homes here, things that you don't see anymore, you know, and coming act into the actual town here, you can see Significance this town has. There we go. So when you think about it, guys, just to get out on a Sunday drive and just get your family in the car and just take a drive and just drive out and see what you can get into, see what you can find, and you know, just to be able to do that, man, you find the smallest little. You find that one diamond in the rough, like that one thing that you would never think is in a specific area or place, and you find it, and you're like, wow, dude, I never knew that was even there. Never knew it, never knew it. So, I mean, just think about it, guys. Take off, get your kids together, get your wife, get your husband, and just go find something significant, like a, do something around your area. Google it. There's, Google, man, is like everything right now, and you could find anything on Google. I mean, anything. And that's what I did. I just went down this little neighborhood and found an old house and a couple of houses for sale, an old historic home, and just a lot of stuff, man. A lot of a lot of stuff, guys. You guys can come out here and enjoy, and you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's just your typical everyday thing. I'm trying to find out what else exactly else we might be able to find around here. Let's go find out. Look at this old tunnel, guys. Out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> right straight through the mountain, guys. Got to come visit out here, man. It's rough. So it's been a busy day. We've been running around, haven't had time to pick up the camera. And uh, so after I left the school, I come back here and met up with my brother. We had to swap cars, had to run to my sister's, grab some bookshelves, book casings, uh, cleaning guinea pig cages, cooking dinner for tomorrow, lunch for tomorrow, I mean. Oh, helping get the stuff into the house. It's been a lot around busy day. And uh, hope you guys really like the school. I mean, I thought it'd be something that's a significant piece in history that people don't really pay attention to. Here's my baby girl's room. It's kind of trashy, but that's the that's the little shelf she's turned into a desk now. You gonna use it as a desk or an actual shelf shelf? I'm gonna use it as both. Oh, she's gonna use it as both. So that's the big piece of crap we had to haul in here. <laughs> But that's really nice and uh, trying to get it through this hallway, 
trust me, was a pain in the rear end. Believe that. Shut your door, baby girl. And uh, we've uh, pretty much had an all-around bad day. Not a bad day, but a good day. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to say that. But now it's time to... I'm cooking. I got chicken in the oven for tomorrow. I was going to fry some turkey, but apparently the turkey was bad they sold me. So I'm not going to take the chance. We've also had to get rid of the guinea pig, clean it out, feed the guinea pig, done that. So, been a busy day, guys. Like, I've not had time to even sit down and talk on the phone, pull the phone out, vlog. I've not had time to do anything. So, yeah, been fun, man. Being able to go visit Sadieville, I mean, that's to really look in deep into that and study the history of, and it's a small town, and I ran into a guy that's like right next down, or like right down the street, and I never even took the time out to do the research. I mean, all I gotta do is Google it, pick it up, find out what it is. As you've seen in the vlog, it looked like they were trying to renovate the inside of that church. But my thing is, is why ain't there being, why isn't there more money, especially on a historic site like that, being put into visiting that? And then why is it not being promoted? And that could be something that's good. Why is it not being promoted on maybe a tour to go and see that and look at the significance that that school had i mean that's the that was in the state of kentucky rosenwald built five thousand of those schools you know and plus he was a he was an activist and you know civil rights activist and everything else so if you don't go in and check the history out on these things you don't know what's in your backyard you know and i was on my way through there and i was like you know what i haven't done the vlog today yet it's been a pretty busy day Cora had to go have her toes, had surgery on her toe, and she got outpatient, so she's kind of like blue, blue right now. But if you don't just take the time and go look at stuff like that, or just say, hey, I'm passing through a town, what's significant of the history about this town? You will never see what's in your own backyard. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the vlog today. You know, pass it on. You know, try to get some more, you know, get some people to kind of restore the history. I mean, and I'll do a lot more of these, depending on the response that I'm getting from you guys. I'll do a lot more of the historical sites and even the African American historical sites in the state of Kentucky, if that's what you guys would like more of. So it's you know I'm gonna actually do some more research. I'm gonna start doing kind of like the the underground railroad stuff and the trails and things like that. And I'm actually gonna see about maybe doing a, a, a tour of that and then kind of record all that. So I'll let you guys go. Have a good night. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Keep it country, guys.